Hey yeah, guys, Canadian Fishing here. Uh, today's video is going to be on uh, all my tackle. I got a request from uh, Fishing Maniac123. Uh, go check out his channel. I'm taking um, video suggestions now. So if you want to see a video, just post a comment. Uh, make sure I don't have it already uploaded. And if I don't, then uh, post a comment. Let me know. Or if you want to see an updated uh, version. But yeah, I got all my tackle here. So I'll start with my main bag. It's the uh, Kevin Van Dam Elite Series uh, from Plano. It holds uh, up to five 3700 size boxes. I've got a review on this, go check it out. So, here's all my um, boxes. I'll start with my terminal tackle. Uh, this, so this is the hooks, uh, leaders, and weights. Um, by the way, I got my new, or my uh, camera back, so it's good. Um, so, right here I got all my leaders. Keep them in there. All my split shots. I still gotta get some uh, bullet weights, as you can see. I've only got one left, but yeah, I keep all my worm hooks and all my hooks right in here. So that's good to um, keep them all in one, um, one box, so they're easy, easily accessible. Um, the next box. This one is not the best. Um, it's my jig and jig heads. I don't have a lot of jigs. I won't even open it. This because it's kind of embarrassing. Actually, I've only got three or four jigs in there, so I still gotta add. So I'm not a big jig fisherman, so I'm gonna be getting into that this year. But uh, yeah, so the next box is my pike box, and I keep grubs in here too. So as you can see, we have some crank baits right here. They're actually I don't really use them for pike. It's just I ran out in my crank bait box of room. So I just put them in there. But uh, I got some pike lures right here. I got a max wrap. I got a big uh, 10 size um, blue fox up here. And um, yeah, these are all my grubs in there. And then there's a little little meps up here, size three, right there. Yeah, it's my pike box. So this is my jointed lures, my frogs, and my jitterbugs. So it's a pretty big box. I'll start with my frogs, I guess. Um, so here's all my soft body frogs. So, get that focus there. So yeah, all uh, soft body. Uh, some, uh, some nice ones. I don't throw a lot of frogs. I got these off a of buddy. It's actually a uh, fish in Niagara region. Go check him out. He's got an awesome channel. So, um, like a focus here. There you go, kind of. And um, so I'm still going on with the frogs. I got some more soft body here, right there. I got one more in there. Um, I guess I'll include this as my one of my frogs. Not, it's a field mouse from Life Target. Um, really awesome. Never caught anything on it yet, though. I don't use that much. But as you can see, it squinches down a bunch. I have another soft body frog. And then here's my 65T um, life target. I've actually been getting pike on some of these uh, some of these green ones. I actually have been getting pike on them. Baby pike go after them. Uh, here's my um, 45T. A nice pattern on it. It's like the brown timber kind of. And here's my other one. Green. But yeah, that's it for my frogs. Guess I'll go on to my jitterbugs. Uh, go on to my jitterbugs now. So here's my first jitterbug. It's got the um, blue head with the white body and the yellow eye around it. Just regular on the bottom. Here's my top uh, main uh, jitterbug. It's got the, uh, as you can see, it's got the speckled black with the green top. And then, uh, kind of like a red, if you can see that, like a red part on the bottom. Represent it uh, injured. And also, here's my other um, jitterbug. It's not jointed, it's just a single. But, um, yeah, there it is. I'll go my jointeds, Rapala jointeds. This one's got the injured um, 
injured fin and it's bleeding on the side right there. And then it's got the black spot, the blue top with the stripe pattern and the red lip. So that one's supposed to represent an injured one. And then I have two of these. I have this, this is a big size, and then I have it in a smaller size. Joint to power. I like to join this because you get a lot of action on that tail. Really good for pike up north in Canada. And then here's the smaller version of it. And then this is the black top. It's kind of the same color as a DT7. Orange, like a burnt orange. It's got the black top with the orange body. So, that's basically it for this. Oh, I'll show you my, um, sorry, I'll show you my popper. And I got a small, sorry it's not in focus. And then I got like a little, little leather, uh, another one here. This little popper. But yeah, so that's it for my, well, for that box. Sorry if this video is a bit long. We're already at 6 minutes 15. Here's all my tassel. So here's my main box. My crankbait box. In case you're wondering, it's the um, Planet Elite Series 3700 size crankbait organizer. Uh, so here's all my uh, crankbaits, as you can see. Big crankbait fishermen. Um, I'm not going to name every single one. I'll just give you guys a good look at them. Got some Cordells in there. Stanford Cedar Lures. Big Rapala diving, um, joint to perch there, couple Cordells, and here we get it uh, to my DTs, which I'll be throwing a lot this year for walleye in a local river. So stay tuned for those videos, walleye videos. Got a live target perch here, which I haven't used yet, and I uh, got a couple more DTs. Uh, just in case you're wondering what DT stands for, it stands for um, dives too, and. Um, yeah, we got some, I got a bomber right there, and where's my other bomber? Well, yeah, I got another bomber right there. And then, oh, I, I forgot, I got a rip and wrap right there. And here's my other rip and wrap. This color, actually, you can catch anything on a rip and wrap, basically, guys. I've caught a uh, sheep head on it, everywhere from sheep head to pike, basically. I got smallies on it. I've even got crappy on um, that rip and wrap, so... That's a very good lure, um, depends what you're going for, but it, it catches like a wide stream of uh, fish. And here, I'll pull it out. This is one of my, actually, my favorite from Rapala, next to the DT. But yeah, this is the um, chrome blue with the red. Really nice color. And um, yeah, then here's a bigger DT. Right there. So that, that's it for my crankbait box. And that's it for that part. Sorry we're going a bit long. It's gonna be a long video, but. So we'll go into my spinnerbait box. It's the um, Pro Latch Doe Way 3503 from Plano. Nice box. Most of these are 1 8 um, I'm not gonna go through all of them. Some of them are 3 8 too. But there's a good look at them right all in there. So as you can see, I'm getting into spinnerbait fishing this year. But I uh, bought a Shimano Claris, and I'm pairing it up with a Shimano Corrado 200i. By the way, I have ordered that reel, and it's coming uh, soon. So stay tuned for that uh, big unboxing for that uh, for that reel. But um, yeah, that's my spinnerbait box. And now for. Uh, not the biggest part of my tackle, but the quantity. Um, basically, so as you can see, it's got a big tub, soft plastics, big soft plastic fish man. I use my Akuma and Convergence for that. So um, I got these Havoc um, three inch, eight centimeter, uh, sick fish juniors in Ghost Minnow. Haven't used them. I got the wrong size, so I don't use those. Uh, I got some Power Team Lures um, Sick Fish. It's the Green Pumpkin Light Blue Swirl 5 inch. These smell terrible, but like they're actually one of the worst smelling soft plastics uh, I have in my box. But I do have some Power Bait that smells pretty bad. 
um, I have this bio bait. Guys, if you're looking to get into, um, if you're looking for cheap um, Senkos that are, like I got these on Taco Rails, I think for like $2, and you get a, I forget how many you get. You get 10 of these. These are 5 inch um, bio bait trick sticks. They're green pumpkin. You can get them in other colors too. But for the price, these are really good. And they stay, uh, you can see the juice. I don't know if you can see the juice that right there. You can see all the juice in the back. Really nice. I got a lot of these. Um, here we got some young, some young, some yum, uh, white silver flake four inch um, tubes. You have to try those out. I got them off a of buddy, so I'll be trying to help this year. Uh, KBD. This is one of the best worms I've ever used. Um, this is a watermelon red flake 16 pack of uh, finesse worms. That's awesome. These are awesome worms. Uh, these are watermelon red flake uh, five inch stingers. Really good company. I like them because they're a bit more cheaper than Senkos uh, from Yamamoto. Uh, these are green pumpkin dingers. Uh, this is actually a really good color. I only have one left. But as you can see, it's got this uh, yellow tail on the end. And it's getting a lot of bass on those. Um, here I don't use a lot. It's a 6 inch Yamasenko natural shag color. Bio bait, same, same color. Uh, KVD Perfect Plastic Baby, or Fat Baby Finesse Worms. Just a bit fat on the end. I got one left of a uh, Green Pumpkin Black Flake. Got a Um, this is the F2 4 inch uh, Dinger Green Pumpkin. Nice pack of those. Good for small bass. Uh, I got a couple, a couple packs of coffee tubes. You actually smell like coffee, I'm not kidding. They're awesome. Sorry. Back to those. Old pack of power bait. These are big bite bait, um, bite juice. These are the four inch uh, green pumpkin finesse grubs. Really nice. Uh, these are the Havoc Grass Pigs five inch. I never use these, I don't know why, but I'm gonna try them out this year. Never used them before. I got some on top baits. Uh, dot com got these off a of buddy, but it's just like a bunch of uh, worms there, it's like a robo worm. Um, I have some reaction innovation sweet beaver 420s, uh, California 420, um, 10 count. Never use these either. I saw them on a guy's video and decided to get some, but haven't used them yet. I got a big 5.5 14 centimeter um, havoc. Uh, sick fish, Papa Sick Fish is what it's called. I think it's the swamp, yeah, it's the swamp gas color. Uh, more bio bait. Sorry about the length of this video, it's one of my longest videos actually. Um, these are more swimming craws. These are the, you get five of these. It's the green pumpkin, uh, what does that say? Green pumpkin, black gold. So. Um, these are the perfect plastics, just uh, longer. Here we have some Jack All Cover Cross 4 inch. Once again, haven't used. I got a lot of these, I never used guys, but I'll be putting them out um, this year. Here I got some Cross from a buddy. And then these are just packs. Plus power bait and another full pack of California 420s right there. And this is my 7 inch pumpkin seed power worm from power bait right there. And then, oh, I that. then I got a couple um, packs of old power bait. So, um, oh, and we got a, a Senko here. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Sorry about the length. Um, Fish Maniac requested the video. Hope you enjoyed it, Fish Maniac, and uh, anyone else watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for the um, Shimano Corona, or Corona, uh, Corrado 200i um, unboxing. Also, stay tuned uh, for some more videos and check out um, 
uh, Fish and Niagara Region and Fishing Guy 427. Also, Fish Maniac 123. Check him out. Check all three of those channels out. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll have more up soon.